This is my new controller. I just got it. Very excited about it. Let me turn that flash off. Maybe you can see a little better. It's a secret. You're not allowed to know. Ta da! Yep, it's a scuff controller, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I just hit a button. Fuck. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure I just started the game of Gears of War, and we're backing out. Anyway, back to the controller. Here it is. I got the stealth controller. Um, dome sticks on both. All blacked out. Um, first impressions? It's definitely high quality. I will say that. Um, I, I like the feel of the, uh, of the scuff grip. It does feel, you know... I'll show you what I came from to let you know, have an idea. I'm pretty sure I backed out of that game. Okay, let's try this again. So we got, obviously, your paddles here. This one over here is my A button. A button right here. I got this one over here, my B button. I play Gears of War, obviously, so... <laughs> That uh, normal configuration of A over here on this side and B on this side is okay for me. Um, but I got the trigger stops and the hair triggers. Turn that flash back on. You can get a good look at that uh, the grip now too. It feels like a like a slick rubber, I would say. Like a smooth, like a smooth slick rubber, but it's got grip. Don't get me wrong, it's got grip. Uh, your hands will definitely feel nice in them. And then the front of this is like a um, it's more of a textured plastic. It's not just your stock regular Xbox controller like this. This has the D-pad taken out of it, but you got the idea. This is just your, um, your stock hard whatever. It's boring. Get that out of here. But this right here, it's like like a matte color to it. But like, I don't know why I want to use matte as a description word because it's not. But it has like a matte feeling to it too. I don't know how else to describe it. The sticks are nice. They definitely are a lot more tacky, stickier than a PS3 controller. Uh, they definitely are. I didn't know if I believed that at first, but they, they really are. And, um, I just played a quick private match to get my, uh, my triggers tuned for Gears of War. Hopefully I don't have to keep doing it every time I go back to play Call of Duty, but if I do, so be it. <clears throat> I did not, um, I'm not sponsored by Scuff. Uh, I bought this controller with my, with my money. It was not cheap. Um, I waited probably a month because they ran out of these, the stealth, they ran out of the stealth paddles and they were waiting for new ones to come in, which I didn't have a problem with, you know, I was almost half tempted to tell them just to put on whatever the hell they had, but you know, <clears throat> I ultimately decided to, uh, just wait until they get the new shipment in, so. This is, I just took this out of the box. Like I said, I played one, uh, one private match to get the triggers adjusted and I popped the camera out. So, um, this is, this is brand new out the box, really. One thing I wish they did was LED changes. I wish they could change that to like red or something like that. That would be cool. And, um, now I'll show you what I came from to give you an idea. This is my Halo 4. Uh, it is modded. It's got a mod in it. Um, I'll show you that here. You can see that red light just lit up. 
Yeah, the red light. But um, it is modded. It's you know it's got a, pretty much any freaking mod you can find. It's got mod sticks on it. I went out and bought some mod sticks. Definitely recommend mod sticks. They are awesome. Although if you play Gears of War and you're a wall bouncer, you're gonna need to get a low rider uh, top for this. Nobody ever mentions that. Nobody plays Gears of War. Everybody's always just talking about these types of uh, upgrades for Call of Duty and whatnot, and how they need to make this stick right here as tall as possible so that way they can aim better. I don't like that. That's not for me. So I don't know what you like and whatnot. So for me, I play Gears of War a lot, so I need that to be as low as possible so my finger could have jumped back and forth. But with the scuff now, I don't have to worry about that because my wall bounce is right here, which is awesome. I can keep my other finger on my, uh, on my, um, uh, Right here, so I can, you know, look at the wall. When I'm gonna be able to wall bounce a lot better, so that's that. Um, it's got mod sticks, everything else. Another thing about this controller, why I really wanted another one. Listen to this button. You can at least hear it. You know what I mean? You can hear the button. This one. There's no, there's no click to this button anymore. None whatsoever. No click. So, um, I got this controller from, uh, Intensifier. Um, it has their best, uh, their best mod in it, whatever it is, the 3.1 HS or some shit like that. Um, but, uh, I'm glad I got one of these. I got wired, of course. Um, I usually kept this wired up anyway because, uh... <laughs> The battery like to die within about an hour or so like that, so I'd be in a in a gunfight or something like that, and my controller would just die. So I had a habit of just leaving it plugged in anyway. So I figured I might as well have just went with wired anyway. Um, I'm always sitting right here with my Xbox, so <coughs> um, yeah. So that's the scuff controller. Um, I'm gonna test it out some more. You know, play uh, actually online now. To uh, see, see how I go. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to and whatnot, having the push back here instead of right here for A. Same thing for B, really, but A is gonna be because you know, obviously, if you play Gears of War, you know that you press A button a lot, unless you play alternate, but you're still pressing A a lot. So um, I wouldn't even really call this a review. This is more of a uh, hey, look what I got. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my new controller. Thanks, guys.